Many homeowners are taking their houses high tech. Some are installing state of the art security systems, others, ultra fancy home theaters. But as CBS 3's Stephanie Abrams shows us, for one man, a high tech home is helping him take control of his life. This is the house Scott Haskell's dreams were made of. And it's not just because of the space or fancy big screens, it's how his home is wired. I can control just about anything in the house. This touch panel is Scott's lifeline to independence. As you can see, he's bound to his wheelchair. Scott became paralyzed after a horrible car accident. I have five plates in my head, broke my neck, my stomach and spleen were torn, my diaphragm was ripped in half. My pelvis was shattered. It took 13 years to recover, but Scott is surviving, and with his settlement made the most important purchase of his life, a nearly $200,000 high-tech investment, creating the home of the future. I thought it was something you'd see in the Jetsons, you know, so far out of reach. Now everything's in his reach. Phones, the percentage of light in each room, doors, even music. And then if you just hold the button control at his fingertips so that when you wake up in the middle of the night you don't have to search around looking for a light switch and thanks to this new automated system scott doesn't even have to come to the door to let people in come on in all right thanks scott this is the brains hidden in scott's basement hi-fi house pulled 10,000 feet of wire through the walls and from a distance the company makes sure everything stays automated and connected to the touch screens we can do a lot of changes and fixes and upgrades remotely without ever coming to the house Scott's 21-year-old son, Robert, is blown away by his new digs. A big change from the one-bedroom apartment they once shared, where his dad needed him for every move. Yeah, it is easier for me because if he needs something, I know he can get it if I'm not around. I'm not out doing something else. For the Haskells, this is so much more than a new home. It's a new beginning. I have my freedom again. In Bethlehem, Stephanie Abrams, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.